boom. Welcome to TTM. Clan Heavy Striker Star. I'm really excited for this one. I've been working in reverse order of importance, essentially, to me, or impressiveness, whatever. You know, I've been holding back on what I think is the good stuff. So, getting ahead of ourselves, what's in the box? We've got Gargoyle, Hellbringer, Mad Dog, Ice Spirit, and Viper. Five double-sided Alpha Strike cards, one for each mech. Five double-sided Pilot cards, because it's a Clan Star. We know what it is by now. Five models in the box. Let's start looking at some. Start off with the Gargoyle, because I already have one of these. I'm sure the arms on it are extremely different to the ones on this, though. These ones I absolutely adore. That looks like he's just rocking some Gatling cannons with underslung missile launchers rather than ammo hoppers. How can you not love that? It's an ugly model, but it's a good model. Again, I'd love to see a bit more posing in there, like just extending one arm forward slightly so it looks like one's really going for it with shooting something a bit more movement in the legs would be nice but still a great model now the man of war has cards in the gray death legion and the clan invasion card pack the one from the clan invasion card pack is identical to this one so if you pick that up you're not gaining anything extra but you will get something extra from the gray death legion pack we'll start with the gargoyle prime size 4 tmm2 movement 10 short 3 medium 3 long 1 7 armor and 4 structure from succession wars till dark age for 38 points not bad it's got a decent amount of movement and hit points it's lacking a bit of long range firepower for me but it's still pretty good on the reverse however we have something that looks far more attractive the gargoyle a size 4 tmm2 movement 10 skirmisher short 4 medium 4 long 3 overheat 3 is awesome 7 armor and 4 structure for 47 points it's adding a lot of firepower because you're getting one extra at medium and short but you're getting two extra at long as well as that ridiculous overheat from succession wars till dark age 47 points i feel like this is something i'm going to use just wish that model was a bit nicer for this guy so next up the hellbringer this guy i like normally don't like the spindly arms but these ones are spindly and then gun arms so that's not too bad it's kind of ugly and disjointed looking because it's so tall with the torso but i'm feeling it it's kind of giving me the vibes of like throwing together a warhammer and an archer and i love both those so can't go wrong i like that it's kind of tall as well gives it a really different silhouette which is quite nice asymmetrical torso with the weapon distribution on it also always a positive the leg armor again these designs are fantastic from the clans now this model has cards in the clan invasion card pack one of them is identical to this card one of them is a single-sided card that isn't so at least you get something extra i wish they would just print different versions in these packs though because there are so many variants out there we don't need to see the same cards coming across yes it's nicer to have them with the updated artwork it makes it easier to identify your models if you're using the new models but they come in the pack so just throw us some different variants because i'm not too bothered about having old artwork on other ones because i'm gonna learn the model from playing these cards if i'm new to the game and let's be honest everything's going to be so mismatched in most games because there's people 3d printing people using old models people using third party models that it doesn't matter if the art doesn't match but that's my little rant for today moving on to the hellbringer prime getting to the card size 3 tmm2 movement 10 striker overheat 3 short 4 medium 4 long 2 overheat 3 4 armor 4 structure for 44 points from succession wars till dark age that seems pretty strong decent amount of firepower i'm loving the overheats on these so you can just go all in on a turn and you know it's not too expensive on the reverse we have the hellbringer a size 3 tmm2 movement 10 striker short 4 medium 4 long 3 overheat 1 4 armor and or structure from succession wars till dark age two points to swap the overheat for a little more long range firepower doesn't seem that worth bothering with uh which way would i go i'd probably guarantee the long range rather than have the mad overheat but the mad overheat would be more fun on to the vulture mad dog this is a very old school mech design and it's still chunky and beefy i absolutely love it there was 
an Atari ST game that had a mech looking like this but with slightly different arms. I can't identify it for the world for me. Throw all the comments you can about Atari ST mech games because I really need to find that game. It was so good. Getting so distracted this episode but yeah fantastic model. Loving those huge missile pods on the side. Love that huge cockpit. Gun arms, back jointed legs, non-humanoid form. Awesome. Very impressive design. Absolutely love it. I'm just going to have to put together a list that fits in all the pretty mechs or at least the ones I consider pretty. So the Vulture Mad Dog has a card in the Succession Wars card pack that is identical to this. So you're not going to gain anything by buying that pack for this mech. Size 3, so the Mad Dog Prime, size 3, TMM2, movement 10, missile bow, short 4, medium 4, long 4. So already a stat line that I'm happy with. We've got that movement, the TMM, missile bow, force across the board, overheat 2, armor 5 and structure 3. That's how we like to see the distribution as well for 42 points. I think that's worth throwing out there from Succession Wars to Dark 8 as well. That's pretty good. Yeah, I rate it. On the reverse, we have the Mad Dog A, size 3, TMM2, movement 10, skirmisher, short 5, medium 5, long 2. Oof that's a choice for 42 points as well you can go either or overheat 2 5 armor and 3 structure 42 points succession wars till dark age so it's really whether you want that extra little bit up close or that extra little bit of range kind of like that and it switches the role which is nice but again didn't have a different card in the other pack so we can't have everything now the ice spirit oh that's an ugly cockpit but I like it because it's much more mechish rather than droidish or humanoid I quite like that. Saying that it does have a hand though, but we can't, as I just said, have everything. Really nice leg designs again, nice gun arm, nice torso. I really like these clown mechs on the whole. There's some strong design elements in them that I really appreciate. And the fact that the box looks so different from mech to mech as well, really nice. Moving on to the card, the Ice Ferret has a card in the clan invasion pack, which is identical to this card again. The Ice Ferret Prime, size 2, TMM3, movement 16, striker, short 3, medium 3 along 2, 5 armor and 2 structure for 44 points from Succession Wars till Dark Age. It's not bad. I guess the 16 and TMM 3 is where you're spending all those points and it is pretty fast but does have more hit points than most at that speed so maybe that is fairly good. The Ice Ferret A however is not. Size 2, TMM 3, movement 16, striker, short 2, medium 2, long 0, sad face. 5 armor and 2 structure from Succession Wars till Dark Age for 36 points. It's cheaper but you lose a lot, I would only take the Prime myself. And I like, absolutely had to fill out 36 points, but then there's probably a lot more better things you can take 36 points, because that is a fair amount. The final model in the box is the Dragonfly Viper. So this mech, again, oh, it's got design aspects I love and hate at the same time. The legs, fantastic. The arms, terrible. They look like the ones that come from like the Adder, the Nova. Don't like those arms. They look like they only function in one axis. You know, they look like they're going to turn the the shoulder forward and backward but not side to side so it's not great and it has hands cockpit however and the legs fantastic love them just those arms like if it had gun arms that were just solid guns mounted into the side of those arm sockets it would be fantastic might have to butcher one of these put some guns on it moving on to the card the dragonfly or the viper also has a card in the clan invasion card pack that is identical to this card so we'll start with the Prime. So size 2, TMM3, movement jump 16, scout, short 3, medium 3, long 0, 4 armor and 2 structure for 37 points from Succession Wars till Dark Age. I guess it's better than the Ice Spirit for one extra point because you get an extra short and medium, but you also get the jump. So yeah, take this guy instead, one extra point. On the reverse, we have the Viper A, size 2, TMM3, 16 jump, movement jump 16, striker, short 3, medium three long zero overheat two four armor and two structure from succession wars till dark age so it might see some play because it's got that 16 jump and decent amount of firepower but for one point i'd like to see more rules change like give me some long range rather than just the two overheat for those single point i don't know weird choices clan heavy striker star i actually feel like some of the earlier packs i was more impressed with maybe i just get less impressed as i see more things who knows but i think like i've really blown away with some of the earlier 
ones I open, like the support star and the ad hoc star. This one's got some really nice looking models in it. Some all right rules. There's not much else for me to say, really. Buy it if you like it. There's nothing to make it a, you know, reason to buy it. If you enjoyed this episode of Two Man Matter, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with the videos every week. And check the link in the description below for links to our social media and for ways to help support the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next episode.